So welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. Hey, y'all don't look at my hair. <laughs> I've been in the wind all morning, and it has been well worth it. It is so warm here today, but it's really windy. That's okay, it's March. This is going to be probably a little short video, a vlog, or whatever you want to call it. But uh, I got to go up to Dalton to the Mennonite store. And when I walked in that door, I was just greeted so sweetly. And I want to tell you all about that. Um... You know, in a lot of my videos, I mention uh, about the Mennonite store, and that's where I get a lot of my bulk stuff. Just, uh, just so much stuff that I get there. And I usually only go probably every three months or so. And I'm, Danny and I are stocked up. So I didn't go to get, like, um, wheat berries or, or rice or beans or nothing like that. But I did go to get uh, a big bag of sugar. That was my main thing. And a few other things. But I hadn't been there in so long that I just wanted to go. And it was such a pretty day. But if you are in the, even close to Dalton, Arkansas, or you had to come out of Missouri, it's well worth your drive. This is the sweetest family. We used to. We used to run this store. It was just an old country store when my kids were just little bitty things. And then my uncles and my aunt before us ran this store. This store has been there, I, I don't even know, over a hundred years. The, the town is old. It's just, it sits right on the 11 Point River. It's a beautiful drive out in the country. But the last several times that I've been to the Midnight Store, Irving is is the older man that runs the store. And me and him and Danny have, we just have developed this really just good uh, family, friend, loving friendship. I don't know how else to put it. But when you meet any of the Mennonites, that's just what happens. You just love them because they're just uh, good people. They're good to you. And uh, we just, we do. We love the whole community. And when I walked in the door today, I, w I barely got the door shut to the store. And Irving, he said, well, look who's here. He said, it's Lori. Um... He always remembers my name, even though, I, you know, it's been so many months since I've been in there. Now, when we lived at Dalton, I was in there all the time. But uh, he said, we was just talking about you probably about an hour ago. I said, you was? He said, yeah. He said, there's a lady that come in. And I'm not, I'm not too sure if he said she was maybe from Missouri. Maybe he said out of state. I don't remember. And uh, he said that. You mentioned us on your YouTube channel. He said, I don't know what that is. He said, but I want to thank you because so many people are coming in saying <laughs> that you have mentioned us on your YouTube channel and they're coming in and they're buying stuff from us and they just love it and going to come back. And it just, it just got to me. I said, well, I'm so happy. I am so happy that y'all that are, that are able to go and support this Mennonite family, I want to thank you too. It just fills my heart because 
you know, I try not to go into the big bulk stores as much as I have to. But there's times I do have to, but not very often. I do order some things online. Right now, you, there's a lot of stuff you can't get. But I do support what you would call your old mom pop grocery stores, and there's not very many of them around. And this Mennonite community has all kinds of businesses that they that they run and they do, and this is just one of them. Now Irving's wife, she was very sickly for many years, and I remember seeing her maybe once or twice in the store, and a couple years ago she passed away. So Irving, he has. I'm not sure how many daughters. I, I've met two of them. And the one that's generally in there making the homemade bread and the cinnamon rolls, and I know her other sister helps with that too. The one that runs the deli in the back, her name's Monica. Uh, she's never married, but she's there with her dad every time the, the doors open, if she can, if she's not sick or anything, and helps him run that business. And I figure it will be her business if he's able to ever retire or just, uh, you know, whatever happens. But it did. It filled my heart. Now, I, uh, several months ago, like I said, it's always two or three months before I go in there. He told me the same thing. I walked in and he's like, Lori, he said, people are coming in that's watching your YouTube. And like he said again, I don't know what that is, but uh, he said, you're sending them to me. And he said, I want to thank you so much. So... I want to thank y'all so much if you're able to get there if you're close enough to go I appreciate it. like I said it's a beautiful job too but uh, so it's just really sweet but anyways y'all know I never do grocery hauls because I, I just don't buy groceries like everybody else well, not everybody but a lot of people do but I did go and I did buy some things today like I said I wasn't in need for really anything in the pantry I'm stocked up um, for several years, put it that way. Um, but there's I, there's just a few things that I picked up, and I like going and supporting him. So that was one of the main reasons. But I'm going to show you all what I got today. Okay, here was the main reason I went. And this is just regular granulated sugar um, that they sell there. It's 25 pounds. It was $21.95, and I'm sure that you can get that cheaper somewhere else, a few dollars cheaper, but I prefer to give a few more dollars to help support our little grocery store. So, I got sugar, and uh, I got some spices over here. I'm not out of spices, but when I go and look at their bulk spices, I always end up picking up some. And I've, this is a natural hickory smoked salt. Um, if we do our... Uh, pork belly and stuff like that. I like to have something like this to rub on it. And also our jowl and stuff that I cook. I put a little bit of that on it. Um, fennel seed. I use a lot of fennel seed. I'm not out. I just want to make sure that I don't run out. I use it in uh, my Italian sausage when I'm making spaghetti. I even use it in my breakfast sausage. Um, just different things like that. And we all know that turmeric is so good for us. So I made sure I don't want to run out of that, so I got me some more of that. And then, of course, y'all know, I love my cumin. So I got another deal with that. I do have a bunch of it, but, you know, you see things that you know you never would run out of. Now, I did go ahead and I purchased some of this. And the reason I did is because I'm always needing some kind of beef base when I'm making different homemade dry seasonings. And this is no MSG uh, added in these, and this is just a beef flavored uh, powder. And this is your chicken flavored base. So both of them, from what they say, has no MSG in them. So I will use these when I'm making different homemade dry uh, seasonings and stuff like that and I have some older videos of doing that and I need to start doing some more I really do 
y'all have asked for it and I need to do it. Now this was not something I went for, but I don't know if any of y'all have tried any of these. I'm not sure if maybe Walmart somebody sells it. It's brownie brittle and it's uh, supposed to have a lot of protein in it. Uh, it's plant protein. So I need to really, I should have read this before I showed it to you, the ingredients and stuff, but uh, they are, they're thin, light and crispy. Um, they're called Sheila G's. High protein pie. Wait a minute. Rich brownie taste with a cookie crunch. Chocolate chip. Plant protein. Here in a minute, maybe I'll read the ingredients. But anyways, they were 59 cents a piece. So I got five of them. And I'm going to share them. I'm not going to be stingy. But those are really good. Maybe y'all have tried them. I got me another bag of brown rice. Um, we know that the brown rice is better for you. Brown rice is not my favorite, but uh, that's just me. But I will, I do keep it with the other rices that I keep. And uh, it's a, an alternative. I can alternate between different rices. I got some of this. This is your... Um, I love to make cold salads out of this because it makes such pretty salads. So that's mainly what I use this kind of noodles for. And I'll put them in the jar, and the jar looks pretty up on the shelf. But I was kind of running out of them, so I, I bought some more of those. I got some organic golden flaxseed. I'm going to be making some uh, different granola bars and stuff. And uh, I wanted to get some of this to put in with that. This is something that I've never bought, but I'm going to try this. This is roasted corn or toasted corn. And I asked Irving, I said, do you know if you can grind this just like you would other corn where I can make cornmeal out of it? I said, it says toasted corn. I said, will that not make delicious cornmeal and cornbread? He said, Lori, he said, I don't know. He said, I've never tried it. He said, as long as all the moisture is out of it, he said, it ought to work. So I told him I'm going to mill it, and I'm going to try it and see if it works. And if it does, I'm going to take him some cornbread made out of it, and I may do a video on that. This was a impulse buy. This is ginger slices, crystallized ginger slices. I had never ate any of this. Now, they keep it in bulk up there. When Miss Vicky was here with her sister, she bought some of this. And we all ate this and ate it and ate it till we about ate it all up before she ever got it. I don't even know if she got any home to Nevada or not. But anyways, it's really good stuff. Just to snack on. Just grab you a piece or two and snack on it, and I love it. And I'll probably share some of this, too. It's, uh, it's uh, sweet but also spicy, because it's ginger. It's sliced ginger. I got some more sorghum. We love sorghum. I got a couple jars. I got another jar of honey. Um, this is their butter that they sell. I believe it's $9.99 a roll. And what I do, and this is salted, and all that's in here is uh, cream and salt. That's all that's in here. What I do is I cut it in disc like this, and then I wrap it separately. And then I just take out of the freezer what I want. But we absolutely love this butter. It's really good butter, and I've always got some in the freezer. Now, I bought some more popcorn. I keep a lot of popcorn because I eat popcorn. Um, but what I use, going to use popcorn for too, is in my meal to make cornmeal. Uh, because this will, popcorn will stay for many years. It'll stay good. So I, I buy a little bit of bulk at a time and I put it up and uh, so I'll always have it. So if I can never get cornmeal, your popcorn will make. And if you have a meal where if it's hand cracked or electric, 
you can make some meal out of popcorn to make you some cornbread. And I went ahead and bought this. Uh, this is a red popcorn. I've never bought it, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm also going to grind some of this up. I'm gonna make some. <laughs> I'm gonna make some uh, cornbread out of it. We'll see how that how that turns out. You know me. I'm always doing something. And of course, back here, oh, kindly done a no-no. But I bought the grandkids some little snacks. I know it's all sugar. It ain't good for them. I know. But in moderation. I just had to do it. So, I mean, that's just all I come home with. Oh, and this right here, y'all. I don't know if you can see the price. Two ninety nine for this big old thing of caramel sauce. Well, what am I going to do with that much caramel sauce? Well, I'm probably going to give some to my daughters. They can eat it on ice cream. And we also make our homemade iced coffee. And uh, for that price, you can't beat that. This is 64 ounces for $2.99. I should have bought more, but I was trying not to be stingy about stuff. <laughs> so anyways, that's what I come home with. Like I said, I really wasn't in need of, you know, just a whole lot of stuff for the pantry because I'm, I'm stocked up. But what I did do is on the way home, I stopped at a flea market. I got these little jars here for 50 cents a piece and i'll use these to put my herbs in i've still got a bunch of herbs from last year that are still they're dried but they're in bags still and i need to get them all put up and on the shelf i've just i grew so much herbs and and i just haven't got it all put up but they were 50 cents a piece do y'all remember these i do i remember these Let's see, what else did I get? I got this for Mr. for Paul Brown to put out in his new shop. You all remember these? These are the old oil cans that you old stuff with. I better quit that, it may have oil in it. I give $2.99 for it. You think he'll appreciate that? I hope so. And this is a sweet little thing here. Look at these little baby shoes. Now, they're heavy. It's almost like a paperweight. And that's just what I took it to be. But it's got real shoelaces in it. And it makes me wonder if these weren't real baby shoes that they've dipped in something or something. I don't know. Um, but I get 50 cents for it. So, you know, I just thought, hmm, I'm going to put it over there on my sewing table. I just think they're cute. I didn't need them. But they are really sweet. See the real shoelaces? Like I said, it may be a paperweight or something. I really don't know. I got these little plates for 50 cents each. They're just so pretty. You know, my grandma kept one on her sink. It wasn't this big, and she kept her hand soap in it because back then we didn't have liquid soap in a bottle. And she always had these little plates, so even on at her kitchen sink, and she'd keep her her hand soap in it. Y'all may know this pattern. Y'all may know if it's worth anything. But like I said, I give fifty cents a piece for them. Not sure what I'll do with them yet. I may give a couple to the girls. If they want them for some reason. They're just really pretty. Um, let's see. This was 50 cents. I'll probably hang it outside in the kitchen garden and put a little bit of um, bird seed in it or something. It's terracotta. It's got the little hummingbird on it pattern. Just kind of cute for 50 cents. I did find something. This is an enamel turkey tray just like my mother-in-law's and it had such a good price on it and it was in good condition I just went ahead and got it do I need it no <laughs> no I don't but it just reminded me of my mother-in-law so much so 
I'll put it up in the pantry up on the shelf or something and get it down at Thanksgiving and put my turkey on it or something, you know? Now, this, this is, <laughs> this is glorious to me because y'all know how much I love old stuff. And these are in such good shape. And I give $20 a piece for them. There's no holes in them. Now, there is some rusty spots. Oh, this one's heavy. I'm going to hang this out in the sunroom. It's the kind that's got the one handle on the side where you would hold it and, and throw out the water or whatever was in it. This one right here, I'm going to actually use. I'm going to use this one for picking beans out in the garden and using that for putting my garden stuff in just because it looks like something that our great grandmas would have used. Grandma Gladys probably had one just like this and used it. She probably used it for everything. So that was my big find. That was it. And I love it. The old splatterware, I'm not sure how old this is. They're not new. They've been around a little while. But so that was my find at the flea market. Oh, a few more little sweet things. I got some books. This one here is, it says, Help, Lord, I'm having a senior moment. Notes to God on growing older. Have y'all, any of y'all ever read this book? I just know that I've been having a lot of senior moments anymore. Mr. Brown will tell you it's the same way with him. So I thought this might be fun to read. I got that flea market. Let's see, I think I'd give a dollar for it. And I got these sweet little books at the flea market for uh, my youngest little granddaughters. The, the boys are too old for these little books, but this one is thank you and it's it's little prayers for little ones to say while they're going before bed or before they eat or just different reasons for them to thank God for everything. This is the book about the Good Samaritan. God made you special. And I didn't give much for these. What is faith? And this one, this one was a dollar. It's budget saving recipes. And if I get time, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to look through these and I might make a recipe out of them for y'all. But I just love these old books like this. And it's so interesting. Um, to see the different recipes and stuff in them. A sweet little book for a dollar. Oh yeah, and I forgot. I got a little little bundle of some sweet onions. Now I don't have onions planted but I'm gonna go ahead and plant some more. You can't ever have too many onions, and we love onions so much, and onions are good for you. So I did get a little bunch of those. I think it was like a dollar something for this little bunch. Uh, so, they do have plants there though. I want y'all to look at me, it's my, I got to get out here. And y'all see back there, uh, the last, uh, video I made of planting seeds a while back. We planted all them tomatoes. You can see they come up, but they're getting leggy. So this afternoon, I'm going to be replanting those and uh, really planting them deep because they're getting leggy. My cabbage all come up. They're tiny, but uh, once I can get them out in the greenhouse, it's supposed to get down to uh, 37 one night this week, so I'm kind of waiting before I put them out there. I think after this week they'll be okay, but I'm not taking any chances. But I am going to repot my tomatoes and get them ready. So everything's looking good. I want to show you all this. I bought this, of all places, at the dollar store. And they, were, they looked kind of just like this, this one. 
But I want you to look how they bloom, these tulips. Aren't they pretty? Little pink tulips. And once they die back, I'll keep the bulb and I'll plant them outside. But it was $5 for just, uh, let's see, there'll be one, two, three, four or five bulbs in there that I'll be able to keep and plant next year. I just thought it'd be pretty to have around since it's getting close to Easter and pretty little flowers. But they did. They just sat out here in the sunroom and bloomed. Such blessings every day. You never know when or how or what form. So thankful.